Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 countries people regret moving to in 2024. Moving to a new country is a significant life decision, often driven by factors such as job opportunities, adventure, or a desire for a lifestyle change. However, not every relocation results in a positive experience, and many individuals find themselves regretting their decision. According to a survey by popular online portals, 75% of individuals who moved for work in the last decade expressed dissatisfaction with their chosen country. The survey identified the most regretted destinations and the main reasons for expatriate discontent, highlighting the importance of careful planning and research before relocating for work. Counting down from number 10, eliciting the least level of regret, to number 1 with the most level of regret, here are the top 10 countries people regret moving to. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 countries people regret moving to in 2024. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 countries people regret moving to in 2024. Number 10. Canada. Surprisingly, Canada makes it to the list at number 10. While Canada is renowned for its beautiful scenery and high quality of life, some expatriates find the immigration process challenging and the cost of living higher than expected. Additionally, the cold weather is a common complaint among those who regret their move. It's nothing unusual to get to minus 40 degrees in cities like Vancouver and Winnipeg during the winter months, but it may come as a bigger surprise that it can also get incredibly hot during the summer months. You'll probably have to get a car because public transport is not only bad but it also won't necessarily go everywhere. As a result, most Canadians drive so you'll have to get used to it, especially if you plan to move to areas like Greater Toronto or Greater Vancouver. This can come as quite a surprise if you're moving from New York City or another part of the states where most people rely on public transport. Plus, the cost of car insurance is not exactly cheap so be prepared for a hefty price too. The next thing you should consider when moving to Canada is that housing costs are high. Not only compared to the rest of the world but also compared to the US. Now there's been an increase in prices everywhere, but if you compare the average housing cost in the US which is around $408,000 to the average price of a home in Canada which has risen to nearly $850,000, you'll see just how ridiculously high prices are. Number 9. United Kingdom. At number 9, the United Kingdom, with its rich history and broad culture, is not exempt from expat regrets. Complaints include the damp, cold weather and a perceived lack of work-life balance, especially in management positions. Some expats also mention the expense of living and difficulties accessing healthcare. When it comes to discussing the United Kingdom, the topic of weather inevitably takes center stage. If you've grown accustomed to the American culture of sunny skies and balmy temperatures, be prepared for a significant adjustment in the UK. The UK's weather, characterized by frequent rain and overcast skies, can affect one's daily life and activities. It may limit outdoor pursuits and influence leisure choices. Those who thrive in outdoor activities or enjoy long periods of sunshine might find the UK's climate less appealing. Food and energy prices have been rising markedly over the past year, particularly gas prices, largely in response to the conflict in Ukraine. This has caused a significant strain on the budgets of families across the UK. The rising cost of essentials can make maintaining a comfortable standard of life challenging. Finding an affordable house in the UK can be daunting, especially in places like London. The housing market is notoriously competitive, and property prices have increased. Many people find themselves renting for years on end because buying a house is simply out of reach. Number 8. Brazil. Ranking 8th on the list is Brazil, a country known for its vibrant culture and beautiful landscapes. However, concerns about safety and high crime rates in certain urban areas emerge as primary reasons for expat regret. Despite the allure of the people, beaches, and food, personal safety becomes a significant drawback. The high crime rate may affect your life more than you're expecting. Brazil's crime rate is no secret. Brazil is expensive. Most people tend to believe that life in a Latin American country will be cheaper than in their home country. This may have been true at one time, but not any longer in Brazil. Housing is particularly expensive, but nothing else is cheap either, and high taxes are partially responsible for the hike in prices. 
By some estimates, the major cities in Brazil can be as expensive as a city like London, for example, but without the infrastructure, the safety, the range and quality of products, and the customer support. It's almost impossible to get by in Brazil without knowing Portuguese. Most people are aware that Portuguese is the language spoken here, the Brazilian variant of the language, of course. However, what most outsiders don't realize is how rare it is to find someone who speaks English here. Number 7. France. France takes the seventh spot, with expats citing difficulty integrating with locals, particularly in urban areas. Some claim that the hospitality in France is often just a facade, and Paris, in particular, does not always live up to its picturesque image. Cultural differences and a perceived lack of warmth from locals contribute to expat dissatisfaction. France has a reputation for its bureaucracy. Dealing with French paperwork and administrative processes can be time-consuming and frustrating. While French is a beautiful language, mastering it is challenging, especially if you're not already fluent. Language barriers can lead to misunderstandings and difficulties in daily life. Learning French might be more demanding than you anticipate. The French lifestyle is undoubtedly appealing, but it comes at a cost. Rent in major cities can be sky high, and everyday expenses like groceries and dining out constrain your budget. Even though healthcare is great, it can also be pricey. Adapting to French culture can be a rewarding but challenging experience. The French hold their traditions and values dear, and as a newcomer, you may face resistance to your ideas and way of life, especially in smaller communities. Number 6. China. At number 6, China reveals a unique set of challenges for expatriates. Many Westerners report feeling ignored or isolated in Chinese society, with language barriers exacerbating the issue. Expats also express frustration with work-related pressures, a lack of work-life balance, and cultural differences that make fitting in challenging. Air pollution is a major concern in China, as the country's industrial growth has led to the degradation of its environment. The air quality in many parts of the country is often very poor, and the smog can be unbearable at times. This can be an issue for people who suffer from respiratory illnesses or allergies, as it can make it difficult to breathe in some areas. While there are plenty of medical centers and hospitals in China, the quality of the healthcare system is far from perfect. Many of the facilities are outdated and the doctors lack the knowledge and experience of their Western counterparts. This can be a problem for expats who need specialized medical care. Expats should always ensure they have a valid health insurance plan in place before they move to China. Number 5. Japan. Japan secures the fifth spot, with Tokyo drawing mixed reviews from expats. Issues such as a lack of work-life balance, prevalent smoking in restaurants, and the use of squat toilets are frequently cited as sources of dissatisfaction. While Japan offers a unique cultural experience, some expats find it difficult to adapt to certain aspects of daily life. English proficiency is lower in Japan than in other industrial countries outside the Anglosphere, so finding someone who speaks fluent English is not so common. Japanese is a complex language that takes time and dedication to learn fluently. If you're not fluent in Japanese, day-to-day -day life can be frustrating as communicating with locals might prove difficult. Adapting to Japanese culture and social norms can be challenging for foreigners. A key aspect of their way of life is maintaining harmony and avoiding confrontation, which sometimes translates into excessive politeness and an emphasis on nonverbal communication. Apart from that, hierarchical relationships are a crucial part of Japanese culture, particularly in professional settings. Work-life balance remains an elusive concept for most Japanese workers. Expect long hours and an intense dedication to the job, even if it takes a toll on your personal well-being. Many employees tend to stay late out of loyalty or not wanting to be seen leaving before their superiors. Number 4. United States. Surprisingly, the United States lands at number four, with crime and racism being significant concerns for expatriates. While the U.S. is often seen as a land of opportunity, the realities of racial tensions and high crime rates in certain areas have left some regretting their decision to move. The cost of living in certain parts of America, particularly in major cities, can be notably high. Housing, education, and daily expenses may strain financial resources, making it essential for individuals and families to carefully plan their budget before considering a move. 
The United States is so huge and there is a long distance between towns and cities. As most towns are laid out in blocks, owning a car is very useful for getting around. The US does not have a national health service so you will need to have private medical insurance. There is also no escaping that gun violence is a problem in the states and makes for familiar and depressing news stories. So, whilst the US has a poor international reputation in this regard, it does not affect the daily lives of many people. Unlike in the UK and other countries, sales taxes, VAT, are not displayed on the shelf price, which can be annoying when you first arrive and get a nasty surprise at the checkout. It is evident that America is one of the most astounding countries in the world. But of course, it's not perfect. Number 3. Mexico. Mexico takes the third spot, with expats expressing concerns about crime and cleanliness in certain areas. While Mexico offers an affordable cost of living, issues such as theft and pickpocketing, particularly in border towns, contribute to expat dissatisfaction. You will quickly learn this when you move to Mexico, and you will notice that you are being charged higher prices for things like rent, food, taxis, and general goods. One of the cons of living in Mexico, which might shock those coming from North America and Europe, is the high levels of police corruption. Bribes are the norm in Mexico, and if you are living here, sooner or later, you will encounter a corrupt police officer, that's just the Mexican way. The Global Peace Index releases a report listing the world's most dangerous and safest countries every year. Mexico placed 137th out of 163 countries, a slight increase from the previous year. It is also regarded as one of the least peaceful Latin American countries, with high crime rates. The language barrier is one of the main things that could prove to be a deal-breaker for those considering a move to Mexico. If you plan to live in expat communities, this might not be a big issue, but you need to know that according to this study, only 5% of Mexicans speak English. Number 2. Belarus. At number 2, Belarus emerges as an unexpected entry on the list. Expatriates, especially those from the US, report feeling unwelcome and isolated. Cultural differences and general disapproval of non-Belarusians contribute to expat regret. If you enjoy winter but the bitter cold is not your thing, you may want to give Belarus a skip. The country often plummets to temperatures below zero during the winter and often remains in these cold temperatures throughout the winter. English is also not widely spoken in Belarus. To get by in this country, you will need to speak Russian or Belarusian, at the very least. That means that even getting the simplest of tasks completed may seem impossible as you will not be able to communicate with anyone. Even in more metropolitan cities, speaking English isn't very common. The country scored fairly low on both personal rights and freedom. There is little media freedom in Belarus and you can't really have your political views expressed in this country. Belarus is the only country that still applies capital punishment. Number 1. Vietnam. Topping the list is Vietnam, where expats appreciate the exquisite food but struggle with issues of fraud, crime, and hygiene. Concerns about unhygienic food preparation and a lack of safety standards add a layer of discomfort to the otherwise attractive destination. While Vietnam is undoubtedly stunning, the truth about living in Vietnam is littering and pollution often takes away from its beauty. One of the biggest disadvantages of living in Vietnam expats complain is the pollution in large cities. The air quality in Vietnam is poor, and even before 2020, it wasn't unusual to see people walk around Hanoi with masks. Littering is another one of the bad things about Vietnam. Many natural sites are used as unofficial dumping grounds, and waves washing up plastic waste on Vietnam's beaches do not help the cause. Long-term expats in Vietnam often complain about the corruption in the country. It is fairly common in most developing countries. Expats reported being asked for a tip when crossing the border for visa extensions or stopped and fined for made-up reasons when driving a scooter. So, which are your favorite countries among the top 10 countries people regret moving to in 2024? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 countries people regret moving to in 2024 in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.